<laughs> so I've glued the camera to my hands uh, with super glue because I'm a little clumsy. And what we've done is we've saturated this cotton ball in um, uh, super glue. And it's supposed to create an exothermic reaction. I mean, hence, it gets hot. Uh, this is a solvent for uh, super glue, and we're going to use that so I can get my fingers unstuck to things like this camera that I'm glued to. Now, I'm told that this is supposed to get warm, and, and then, you know, what, it's going to catch on fire. That's what the internet said. It said it's supposed to take several minutes. Uh, that these, thum these fumes are supposed to be highly toxic. That this could kill us. Um, but it's perfectly safe because I'm a licensed and trained wait, wait. amateur. Don't try this at home. Try this at your friend's house. Try this at someone else's house. Like ours. Never try it at home. Yes, try it. Find a good friend that who, who oh, is probably not going to be okay with you burning their house down. A really good friend. And then do it there. Okay, I'm going to pause this now and see what happens. So several minutes has gone by. I'm told by the internet that several minutes is all you need for this miraculous spontaneous combustion to happen. If you look behind me, what you see is a, super, is a cotton ball doused in super glue. It's not doing anything. We're going to wait a little longer, but it's getting colder as time goes by. And as it gets colder, our chances of death only increases in this experiment. So we will see what happens. Uh, we may have to forego science for our own survival. So, Operation failed. There is still nothing happening to that cotton ball that was in super glue, which the internet said would burn into a blazing ball of fire. We're going to wait. Get, like, <laughs> we, we can always get a lighter. <laughs> I know. I've just never heard of that combination. So, in our science experiment, we have now waited many minutes. Um, <laughs> and as you can tell, the cotton ball has not done anything yet. So we're probably going to give it some help and probably just catch it on fire. <laughs> and see what happens as we combust it intentionally. Because we're pyromaniacs. <laughs> because we just want to burn something today. <laughs> so I think something is happening where it might combust. Um, something might actually make this cotton ball burn. As you can tell, the uh, spontaneous combustion reaction is happening right now. It's happening as it's magically combust. Oh wow, look, it's combusting. Oh my gosh. It combusted on its own <laughs> without any assistance of any kind. Yeah, we're going to die. Aren't we did not use a lighter on that. Ah, actually, I think we're going to live in cold weather. Well, I told it this actually burns for a long time. Maybe that's it. Yeah, so oh, now. It's warm. Hey, this, might be good. this is how we survive <laughs> the great <laughs> freeze over in Texas. Oh no, oh no. So, kids, there you go. If you want to start a fire in your backyard, all you need is a cotton ball, super glue, and matches, and friends willing to light it for you. And it lasts all night. And it will last probably forever. This flame will burn for eternity. This went for the eternity humanity. You are welcome. Science!